Heath, Nora Heath. Today I am doing a special collab with lots of our um, small beauty community who are doing a collab in celebration of the lovely Anya Stamper's birthday. Because um, we all love Anya and we think she's very special in our beauty community. She brings us all together and does lots of collabs and communicates with us all. And we just love her and we wanted to celebrate her birthday and make a uh, little video to say happy birthday, Anya. I hope you have a great day. So today I am going to be doing a look, probably using my Tasty Avocado Revolution palette and my Lemon Drizzle Revolution palette. And my LA Girl Neons palette. Probably just this greeny colour here because the top one I'm wearing is kind of a red yellowy green. So those were the palettes I thought might suit what I was wearing today. So that's why I'm going to do that. And I've done my eyebrows and I've prepped my eyes. And now I'm ready to start my eyeshadow. So, dink! Mm, what should I start with? I'm going to start with this green here. So, I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos, you would have seen Anya. We've um, done collabs before, lots of group, group collabs, and she was the first person that I ever collabed with. She was the one that really got me going into doing collabs and being brave enough to ask other people if they want to do collabs with me. So, thank you for that, Anya. And then I'm going to go into Lime out of the Tasty Avocado palette, which is basically just a lighter colour of that. And um, Anya often says she gets comments sometimes on her videos saying, oh, you need to blend that more, but she, but she says she has a more editorial style where she doesn't actually want to do that much blending. I can't use the excuse of having an editorial style. I, I don't do that much blending because when I do my crease, I often don't blend it that well in between here. Because when I open my eyes and my eyes sag down a bit, you, you can't see it anyway. So it, it doesn't really matter that much if I don't blend it forever. And I don't want to be bothered. I want to play with the colours, not blend forever. So is that not very professional? I'm not a professional, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> now, what colour do I want to use next? I think I'm going to use smoothie. Yeah. I'm going to put that on the other corner. Oh, that's such a pretty colour. I like the colour. Now, I'm very behind in watching people's videos at the moment. Because I had a month off YouTube and there's no way I'm going to catch up with everyone. But um, I know things have been going on in the beauty world that I have no idea about now because I've been out of touch. <laughs> I've started watching people again and finding out what's going on. It's like, oh, look, Tati's made a, a new makeup. I don't even know what she calls it actually because I I didn't take that much notice but uh, the makeup a, a different version of kind of like a makeup sponge. <laughs> so I not sure where I was up to because I suddenly had to go and pick up my youngest from school because they had athletics today and um, apparently she was feeling a bit faint so I suspect she got a bit of heat stroke because they never have any shade at those things. Um, I had to go with just two colours of eyeshadow on me and nothing else. <laughs> so, what was I up to? So I was using Smoothie out of the avocado palette. And saying what a nice colour it was. Actually, I think I might use Pear as well. Which is kind of a greeny yellow, which goes really well with my shirt, if you can see that. 
That is oh, not really flipping off. I can't get it high enough. Guys, it's a really good match with my shirt, actually. <laughs> Do you put that on? Ah, off of the camera. Well, at least the noisy machine outside has stopped. Yeah. I'm doing this in the afternoon because my morning was too hectic and I didn't get a chance to do my makeup in the morning. <laughs> so I've got a film today because it's got to go up in two days and it took me two days to get my last one up because um, there was something weird going on with the rendering and it. And then when I had said it was all rendered and it worked on my computer but then when I went to upload it to YouTube it would only load six minutes and keep stopping so I had to re-render it and play with it. <laughs> so I was a day behind so I thought right, I better not leave it too much at the last minute or I might get into trouble and not get it done. <laughs> Which I didn't want to do. <laughs> and what else do I want to put on here? I think I might go for a brown eyeliner today. So I'm just using my Rimmel Soft Coal one which is misnamed because it's not very soft. in my opinion because I gotta put it on quite a lot to get any colour I'm just gonna do the outer corner there on the top I'm gonna use a little tiny brush I'm gonna use a slice of cake and this is out of the lemon drizzle So, whatever you're doing today, Anya, for your birthday, I hope you are having a wonderful day. And you deserve all the good birthday wishes in the world. Now, I'm going to use some of this white in the LA Girl palette. This is why I don't really like filming in the afternoon in this room because it's just too hot the afternoon sun comes in here and I've got the window open which sometimes makes the sound go a bit echoey but I wouldn't be able to be in here at all otherwise and um, even with the window open it is really hot in here because we're in the middle of summer <laughs> and then I'm going to get my Pencil and I'm just going to tie line. I'm going to use my Colour Pop Pretty Fresh Primer, which feels more like a lotion than a primer, but I do like it. It's nice and hydrating, it's nice and light for summer. And then I'm going to use my Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer and my L'Oreal Glam. Beige Healthy Glow Foundation, and I'm going to mix those two together. I'm just going to mix them on my hand. I know some people have mixing palettes, but then it's like that's something else I've had to wash. <laughs> it's much easier just to wash my hair, <laughs> in my opinion. I'm too lazy. I don't, don't want to be vulgar. So I've been doing lots of um, research on meditating and the law of attraction. So, oh. I haven't got a handle on yet because I've only just started really researching it. I've been doing a little bit of meditation for a little while. I feel like I'm only just starting to be able to get to the point where I feel like I can actually have my mind still and not thinking about stuff for maybe 30 seconds at a time. <laughs> it's really hard actually. It's way harder than you might think. Or, or maybe you already know that. <laughs> it's way harder than I thought to actually just 
be in sort of not have lots of thoughts running through your head. I've been doing gratitude journals this year and um, I've, been, I've been enjoying that. I think that's a really good idea. I'll definitely be carrying on doing that. And if you're wondering why I've been doing all this, it's just a case of trying to uh, stay happy and positive and in the space I'm in, like be present in this time and enjoy what I have, appreciate what, what's in my life. So I'm working on all the positive things in my life so that I can think less about other things that are going on and actually learn to appreciate what I do have. helping. I've actually gone off my antidepressant pills, so it's definitely helping in that. <laughs> um, until the next crisis, anyway, when we really test it. At the moment, there's no real crisis is going on, so I feel safe to um, get that out of my system and work on ways to not have to go back on it. Because, you know, when things go wrong, it's perfectly fine to feel like crap. But then to be able to move on from that and carry on with life. This is the tricky part. <laughs> so, that's, it. that's what I'm working on. Doing, doing that in a more natural way. Without relying on drugs to do it. And I've been on the keto diet for the last fully since the beginning of the year, but we started it about middle of December and we just very slowly transitioned onto it because with my, it, we're doing it for my husband's health because he gets some seizures and the keto diet is supposed to be good for helping with that and he can't do anything suddenly, we, we have to transition everything for any, any new pills added to, or anything or everything has to get done very gradually so we just started very gradually and I had because I've been doing intermittent fasting as well he hasn't been because he's like way too skinny and can't afford to lose any more at this stage and he did try just missing breakfast for a few days but he felt so crap that <laughs> he gave that up <laughs> and um, so I've been doing intermittent fasting as well as the keto and Initially, I lost quite a lot of weight because there was a lot of like, inflammation and water weight. And then I've just been very gradually going down. And sort of what I've discovered is that if um, to lose any weight, it, for me, I need to fast for 20 more hour, 20 hours or more. So like go one meal a day or do um, 20 hours fasting, four hours eating. So I've sort of been working my way towards that, but I don't do that every day. I, um, I tend to do the 16-8 the most days, so you just miss breakfast and then you eat normally. You have lunch and then you have dinner. But um, if I do that, I maintain my weight. I don't put any on, but I don't lose anything either. And I want to lose a bit. The trick is that I want to lose a bit. And, my husband doesn't need to lose any, so trying to <laughs> sort of juggle the two diets, so he stays the same. Well, actually, we'd quite like him to put a little bit more on. And now that I lose, it's, it's an interesting journey. I haven't quite made the bed. <laughs> it has. I had a couple of days towards the beginning where I felt. Um, really tired. I think it's what they call the keto flu. I didn't really feel fluy, I was just really tired and I ended up having to sleep in the middle of the day. And um, but apart from that I felt really good. I've actually had more energy than I normally have. So I think it's been suiting me. I don't know how well it's suiting Paul as yet. He's um 
he's been a bit up and down, but whether there's diet or something else, it's impossible to know because there's been quite a few little changes going on. So, but because we're doing it for his health. I anticipate it being a long-term thing and I've completely cleared out my pantry and um, got rid of all the foods that we don't want to eat and things. So, we're looking very healthy in our house at the moment. <laughs> and um, the girls have just decided I've become a hippie. <laughs> I haven't told you anything that, else that I'm using on my face, but that's okay. It's not really about the makeup today, it's more about celebrating Anya and her birthday. And I just thought I'd give you a little update on what's going on. <laughs> so, I think I'm ready for setting spray, and I'm going to use my Colourpop Pretty Fresh one, because I quite like this. And it's nice and cool in the hot room. <laughs> and just imagine at this time of year, sticking it in the fridge and then spraying it on your face. It's really, really nice. <laughs> and I'm going to use my Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance mascara. And there is my final look today. And I didn't get to put my earrings in because I'm doing this later in the day. I wore my headband because um, in honour of Anya because she's the one that, after watching her and all her gorgeous headbands, she's the one that got me to go and buy some pretty headbands and different headbands. I was actually thinking I should wear... Oh, I should have worn this one. That's what I feel I should have worn. I should have worn this one because this one feels... Like it should be a birthday party one. Can I? There you go. If I go out of it, you can see it. It doesn't go off the top of the frame. So this feels like a, if I was four, this is what I would wear to a birthday party. <laughs> this headband. So have a great day, Anya, and we love you, and we'll see you next time. Bye.